What's going on guys? It's Matt with PSACollector.com back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to list the top 50 most valuable, highest selling NBA basketball rookie cards of all time, not including modern day players. So this is vintage, Hall of Fame, retired, uh, like legendary players only, all right? Those modern day cards is gonna be in a different list, so stay posted for that. Also, all these cards are listed in an article on my website, psacollector.com, and I got that link listed below. Check that out if you guys wanna add any of these cards to your collection. The higher the grade, the better. However, for the true collector, any encased and uh, authenticated example by a third-party grading company, PSA, Beckett, or SGC, will make a great addition to the collection. So check the links in the description to that article and some other links as well. Now, without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this list. Starting off the list at number 50 is a 1988 Fleer Scotty Pippen rookie card number 20, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in February of 2023 for $2,002, current PSA 10 population of 250. Number 49 is a 1986 Fleer Clyde Drexler rookie card number 26, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in February of 2023 for $2,180, current PSA 10 population of 347. Number 48 is a 1988 Fleer Reggie Miller rookie card number 57, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in February 2023 for $2,250. Current PSA 10 population of 174. Number 47 is a 1988 Fleer Dennis Rodman rookie card number 43, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in October of 2022 for $2,649. Current PSA 10 population of 238. Number 46 is a 1981 Topps Kevin McHale rookie card number 75, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in August of 2021 for $2,706, current PSA 10 population of 67. Number 45 is a 1957 Topps Dolph Shays rookie card number 13, graded PSA 8, near mint to mint condition, Sold at auction in February of 2022 for $2,827. Currently, there are just 40 PSA 8s with 3 graded higher and no PSA 10s. Number 44 is a 1986 Fleer Patrick Ewing rookie card number 32. Graded PSA 10. Gem mint condition. Sold at auction in November of 2022 for $3,000. Currently, there are 158 Patrick Ewing PSA 10 rookie cards. Number 43 is a 1986 Fleer Carl Malone rookie card number 68, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in January of 2023 for $3,145, current PSA 10 population of 221. Number 42 is a 1986 Fleer James Worthy rookie card number 131, graded PSA 10, Gem mint condition sold at auction in January of 2023 for $3,245. Current PSA 10 population of 134. Number 41 is a 1986 Fleer Isaiah Thomas rookie card number 109, graded PSA 10. Gem mint condition sold at auction January of 2023 for $3,518. Current PSA 10 population of 193. Number 40 is a 1989 Hoops David Robinson rookie card number 138, graded BGS 10, pristine condition, sold at auction in April of 2021 for $3,527. Currently, there are only 32 BGS 10 pristine condition examples of the David Robinson short print rookie card and only two black labels so far. Number 39 is a 1969 Topps Elvin Hayes rookie card number 75, graded PSA 9, mint condition, sold at auction in February of 2022 for $5,130. Currently, there are 35 PSA 9s with no 10s yet. 
Number 38 is a 1986 Fleer Hakeem Olajuwon rookie car, number 82, graded PSA 10, gem in condition, sold at auction in November of 2022 for $5,633. Currently, there are 332 PSA 10s. Number 37 is a 1971 Topps Spencer Haywood rookie car, number 20, graded PSA 9, mint condition, sold at auction in January of 2023, for $5,640. Currently, there are 13 PSA 9s with just one PSA 10. Number 36 is a 1996 Topps Chrome Steve Nash Rookie Card Refractor, number 182, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in November of 2022 for $5,700. Currently, there are just six PSA 10s with a total of 100 examples graded by PSA. Number 35 is a 1996 Topps Chrome Ray Allen Rookie Card Refractor number 217, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in September of 2019 for $6,100. Currently, there are just two PSA 10 examples in existence. Number 34 is a 1997 Topps Chrome Tim Duncan Rookie Card Refractor number 115, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in September of 2022 for $7,260. Currently there are 107 PSA 10s with 422 Tim Duncan refractors submitted to PSA. Number 33 is a 1986 Fleer Charles Barkley Rookie Card number 7, graded PSA 10, Gem mint condition, sold at auction in February of 2023 for $8,100. Currently, there are 237 PSA 10s. Perfect. 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 Number 32 is a 1986 Fleer Dominique Wilkins rookie car number 121, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in December of 2022 for $9,300. Currently, there are only 94 PSA 10 examples in the world. Number 31 is a 1992 Stadium Club Beam Team Members Only Shaquille O'Neal Rookie Card Number 21, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in September of 2022 for $9,477. Currently, there are only 58 members only Shaquille O'Neal rookie cards and PSA 10 condition. Number 30 is a 1969 Topps Walt Frazier rookie card number 98, graded PSA 9, mint condition, sold at auction in October of 2021 for $9,650. Currently there are 17 PSA 9s with just one PSA 10. Number 29 is a 1969 Topps John Havlicek rookie card number 20, Graded PSA 9, mint condition, sold at auction in June of 2022 for $11,400. Currently, there are 30 PSA 9s with just two PSA 10s. Number 28 is a 1972 Topps Artist Gilmore Rookie Card number 180. Graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in July of 2021 for $12,600. Currently, there are 13 PSA 10 examples in PSA's pop reports. Number 27 is a 1969 Topps Wes Unseld rookie card number 56, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in August of 2016 for $12,669. Currently, there is just one PSA 10 example in PSA's pop report, and this is it. Sold for nearly $13,000 in 2016 by PWCC. Number 26 is 1969 Topps Willis Reed Rookie Card Number 60, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in August of 2016 for $12,722. Current PSA 10 population of just one, and sold by PWCC. If these PSA 10s were put up for auction today, uh, you know what would they sell for? $13,000 in 2016, you know, pff, man, I, I, I would say at least double that uh, for the, the Wes Unseld and the Willis Reed rookie cards. Number 25 is a 1957 Topps Paul Arizon rookie card, number 10, graded PSA 9, mint condition, sold at auction in December of 
for $13,800. Currently there are just two PSA 9s with no 10s. Number 24 is a 1977 Topps Robert Parrish rookie card number 111, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in April of 2022 for $13,800. Currently there are 10 PSA 10 examples and PSA's pop reports. Number 23 is a 1973 Topps Bob McAdoo rookie card number 135, graded PSA 10, Gem mint condition sold at auction in October of 2022 for $16,111. Currently, there are four PSA 10s and PSA's pop reports. Number 22 is a 1972 Tops Julius Irving rookie card number 195, graded PSA 9, mint condition sold at auction in November of 2022 for $18,000. Currently, there are 160 PSA 9s with just one PSA 10. A total of 5,264 of these have been submitted to PSA so far. Number 21, it's a 1957 Topps Bob Pettit rookie card number 24, graded PSA 9, mint condition, sold at auction in March of 2018 for $18,100. Currently, there are just two PSA 9 examples with no 10s. Number 20, as a 1998 Topps Chrome Dirk Nowitzki Rookie Card Refractor number 154, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in July of 2021 for $18,655. Currently, there are just 12 PSA 10 refractors graded with 195 submitted to PSA so far. So not many guys. These early refractor cards are very rare. Number 19 is a 1970 Topps Pete Maravich rookie card number 123 graded PSA 9 mint condition sold at auction in May of 2022 for $19,800. Currently there are 85 PSA 9s with just two 10s of the Pistol Pete rookie card. Number 18 is a 1971 Topps Bob Lanier Rookie Card number 63, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in October of 2021 for $20,685. Currently just four of the Lanier PSA 10 Rookie Cards in PSA's pop reports. Number 17 is a 1975 Topps Moses Malone Rookie Card number 254, Graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in November of 2022 for $24,000. Currently, 38 PSA 10 Moses Malone rookie cards in existence. Number 16 is a 1961 Fleer Sam Jones rookie card number 23. Graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in October of 2021 for $24,427. Currently, just four PSA 10 examples. Number 15 is a 1974 Topps Bill Walton rookie card number 39, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in July of 2021 for $27,600. Currently just three PSA 10 examples graded. Number 14 is a 1971 Topps Rick Barry rookie card number 170, graded PSA 10, Gem mint condition sold at auction in October of 2021 for $28,975. Currently, 10 PSA 10 examples in existence. Number 13 is a 1996 Topps Chrome Allen Iverson Rookie Card Refractor number 171. Graded PSA 10, gem mint condition sold at auction in August of 2022 for $30,001 by Golden Auctions. Currently, there are 36 Iverson Rookie Card Refractors graded PSA 10 with only 253 submitted to PSA so far. Number 12 is a 1961 Fleer Elgin Baylor Rookie Card number 3 graded PSA 9 mint condition sold at auction in October of 2021 for $31,986. Currently, just 9 PSA 9s graded with no 10s yet or probably ever will be. Number 11 is a 1974 Topps George Gervin Rookie Card number 196, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in August of 
for $43,800. Currently, there are four PSA 10s graded. Rounding off the list at number 10 is a 1957 Tops Bob Cousy Rookie Card number 17, graded PSA 8, near mint to mint condition, sold at auction in August of 2021 for $63,000. Currently, there are 35 PSA 8s, one 8.5, three nines, and zero PSA 10s. Number nine is a 1961 Fleer Oscar Robertson Rookie Card number 36, graded PSA 9, mint condition, sold at auction in November of 2021, for $72,000. PSA has graded 1,378 of the Oscar Robertson rookie card so far, 14 of those graded PSA 9, and one graded PSA 10, which has yet to be put up for auction. Number eight is a 1961 Fleer Jerry West rookie card, number 43, graded PSA 9, mint condition, sold at auction in February of 2022 for $84,000. 1,716 have been submitted to PSA so far, 29 graded PSA 9 with 3 grading PSA 10. Number 7 is a 1986 Fleer Michael Jordan Rookie Card number 57, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in January of 2023 for $180,000. Currently, there are 316 PSA 10 Michael Jordan Rookie Card examples with 24,709 submitted to PSA so far. Number six is a 1969 Tops Kareem Abdul-Jabbar or Lou Alcindor rookie card number 25, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in November of 2016 for $240,000. Currently, there are just two PSA 10 examples with a total of 4,492 submitted to PSA so far. PWCC Auctions sold this card. Uh, I believe this was part of the other two 1969 Top 6 PSA 10 examples. It's hard to believe that one collector had all three um, of the only examples. Well, this was one of the two. There are two examples of the uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar rookies, but it, still, it's pretty impressive he had all three because these were all sold by PWCC in November of 2016. Um, I have a strong feeling they were all submitted to PWCC by the same person. Um, and it's pretty crazy that they had these cards because if this if this went up for auction today, uh, one of the only two PSA 10 examples, man, it's hard to say, but 240,000 in 2016, could this break a million dollars if it were to surface? Tough to say, or would it sell for less? You never know. With the sports card market, you really, you really, you just never know. But with it being Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, I guarantee it would not sell for, uh, I'm not gonna say I guarantee it, but because nothing's guaranteed. I don't know. No, it wouldn't sell for less. It, it, it would sell for at least 240,000. No way, no way it would sell for less. What am I even talking about? Number five is 1961 Fleer Wilt Chamberlain Rookie Card. Number eight, graded PSA nine, mint condition, sold at auction in January of 2022 for $348,000. Currently, there are 32 PSA 9s with three PSA 10s. No 10s have sold yet. PSA has graded a total of 1,966 of these Chamberlain rookie cards. It's pretty impressive, three graded gem mint 10 condition. Crazy to see if one went up for auction. Man, I'm just, a lot of these cards, people are holding on to them. For dear life, I guarantee you they're, they're, they're holding for like decades. Or maybe the next boom, sports card boom, who knows. Number four is a 1948 Bowman George Mikan rookie card number 69, graded PSA 9, mint condition, sold at auction in June of 2021 for $426,000. Currently there are four PSA 9s, one PSA 10, and only 394 of these submitted to PSA so far which is pretty crazy. Uh, this is 1948, the very first issue for of uh, any NBA basketball card set. Number three is a 1980 Topps Larry Bird and Magic Johnson rookie card, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in August of 2022 for $522,000, sold by Golden Auctions. Currently, there are 23 PSA 10s with 13,725 submitted to PSA. Uh, Magic Johnson and Larry Bird rookie card, two and one of the all time greats. Yeah, this is an iconic basketball card, rookie card. Definitely deserves a spot in the top three. 
Number two is a 1957 Topps Bill Russell rookie car, number 77, graded PSA 8.5, near mint to mint plus condition, sold at auction in August of 2021 for $630,000. Currently there are two 8.5s with three PSA 9s and no 10s, and a total of 1,117 of these have been submitted to PSA so far. Coming in at number one is a 1996 Topps Chrome Kobe Bryant Rookie Card Refractor number 138, graded BGS 10, black label, pristine condition, sold at auction by Heritage Auctions for $795,000. Currently, there are just two Kobe Bryant Rookie Card Refractors graded BGS 10 with a black label, perfect 10s for all four subgrades, and a total of 299 submitted to Beckett. Pretty crazy that Kobe Bryant Refractor Rookie Card is number one on the list. However, guys, if some of these PSA 10 Pop 1 cards were to surface for auction today, they would surely beat out the Kobe Bryant Rookie Card. However, because these vintage collectors are smart, they know that a true investor doesn't sell they buy and they hold for dear life, okay? All right, guys, that's it. Top 50 highest selling NBA basketball rookie cards of all time. If you haven't subscribed, do so right now. Hit that thumbs up and comment below. Let me know what cards I missed and what kind of videos you want to see me do in the future. I appreciate you all watching. I appreciate the support. Stay posted for more videos because I got a lot more coming. See you guys in the next one.